Hello and welcome to the ProjectWise Administrator Fundamentals Accreditation Course. ProjectWise Work Area and ProjectWise 365 Services. In this lesson, we will learn what is a ProjectWise Work Area and why we need it. We will also learn what exactly is a Bentley Cloud Project and the ProjectWise 365 services that it offers. We will concentrate on setting up one of the 365 services, which will be setting up the web connection to the ProjectWise work area. Finally, we will also discuss what is a connected project. As we know, it's a habit or standard that we usually organize documents by the folders as well as the subfolders. As long as users have ProjectWise Explorer installed, and that's how users can access these documents. But what if we consider inviting users to work on this BSI 300 medical complex project via a web browser interface? Since some of these users don't have ProjectWise Explorer installed. In order for this to happen, the BSI 300 project must be a work area and cannot be a folder. And since we already have the BSI 300 data stored in ProjectWise, we can simply upgrade the BSI 300 folder to a work area. Let's go ahead and click on next. We can leave the name and the description as is. Here, the ProjectWise project. We can choose to associate with a Bentley Cloud project that we will be creating in a few minutes. So for now, we will just leave it as is. Let's go ahead and click Next. Because the BSI 300 Medical Complex is a building project, so from the Work Area Type dropdown, we are going to select Building. So we are going to provide information for the project name, as well as for the project number. We can fill out the rest of the project information at a later stage. Let's go ahead and click Next. The resource type. This section allows us to choose the appropriate resources and values that are applicable to this work area that we are creating. For instance, there are A to Z applications that users can associate to the documents. However, for this BSI 300 work area, it will only store PDF documents, office documents, as well as CAD documents. So we can simply remove the rest. By selecting the ones we don't need and click on remove. We are getting a warning message to let us know that in the future, if we are going to add any new applications, we will have to come back to this screen again. It will not be automatically added for us. Let's go ahead and hit OK. There are more applications that we need to remove. So let's go ahead and select the rest and click on Remove. So here we know that these are the applications that will be applicable to this BSI 300 work area. Similarly, if we have created a lot of views for our ProjectWise data source and only one or two views that are applicable to this work area, we can restrict the view to be seen by users when they are working in this BSI 300 work area. For now, let's just go ahead and click Next. Project Participants. This defines who has access to this work area. For now, we won't set anything yet, and we will revisit this in a separate module. Let's go ahead and click Next. We can go ahead and click on the Finish button so that it will go ahead and upgrade the BSI 300 to a work area. We have been informed that the work area has been upgraded successfully. Let's go ahead and hit OK. If we don't have any project data already stored in ProjectWise, and we are setting up a new project, we simply can just create a new work area. We have just completed the very first step for enabling ProjectWise data 
to be web accessible. In the next step, we will create a Bentley Cloud project, which will provide ProjectWise 365 services. In order to take advantage of these ProjectWise 365 services, we first need to create a project in the Bentley Cloud via connect.bentley.com or projectwise365.bentley.com. From here, we just click on the button, create a project, and enter the project information. The project will be created for us in the Bentley Cloud. Since the way a project is created in projectwise365.bentley.com is almost identical to the way it is created in connect.bentley.com, so we are going to demonstrate how a project is created in connect.bentley.com. From the connect.bentley.com, go to the ProjectWise Projects section and then click on the plus sign to register a new project. On this page, any field that has a red asterisk next to it, meaning that it is a required field. So we are going to provide the information for the project number as well as for the project name. For the asset, we will choose not applicable. Since the project that we are creating is related to medical, so the industry field, let's select buildings and facilities. And then in the type drop down, let's select healthcare facilities. The rest of the fields are optional. So scroll down until we find the building country. For this project, we will choose the United States. We are thinking of inviting external team members to participate in this project. So let's go ahead and enable the allow external team members. Go ahead and click on register. We are prompted with a dialog window letting us know that any external participant that we invite and is not a Bentley user, then the inviting organization will be responsible for Bentley license usage used by the external user. Let's go ahead and click yes and have the project create. Once the project is successfully created in the Bentley Cloud, you will see that the ProjectWise 365 services are available for this project. Don't forget to turn on the favorites so that it will be easier for us to find it in the next few minutes. Now that we have a work area created in ProjectWise, we can go to the connect.bentley.com to locate the Bentley Cloud project that we created minutes ago. If we are only interested in having a web connection to the ProjectWise data, the last step we need to do is to go to the Bentley Cloud project and under the ProjectWise 365 services section, click on the ProjectWise web connections. Click on manage connections. If we want to allow multiple users to work on the same Office document at the same time, then leave the option Enable Office 365 Document Co-authoring as is. Go ahead and click on the new connection. If your project-wise data is hosted by Bentley, you will enter the URL link that Bentley provides. If you are hosting your own project-wise data, then your organization will need to provision the Bentley Web Services Gateway Server, usually abbreviated as Bentley WSG, before you can proceed further. The ProjectWise data source that we are using for this demonstration, the URL link is provided. Click on the button, Get Data Source. From the Data Source dropdown, make sure we select Bentley America's Learn 07. This is the ProjectWise data source that stores the BSI 300 project. Make sure the option Use Bentley IMS Authentication is enabled because we want each user to use their Bentley IMS account to access the BSI 300 project. From the Work Area dropdown, we then select BSI 300 Medical Complex. 
Don't forget to enter the connection name as well as the description. Go ahead and click connect. So we just create a web connection to the data that are stored in ProjectWise. As we can see, once the web connection has been created, we can just go to connect.bentley.com and the Bentley Cloud project, BSI 300, automatically listed in the ProjectWise project section. We can just click on the ProjectWise connections. Here we have a web portal to access the BSI 300 medical complex project the same folders and subfolders, as well as documents that we see when we launch ProjectWise Explorer. Most of the ProjectWise commands that we saw in ProjectWise Explorer, for example, get link, rename, as well as replace file are available in the web browser interface. A quick highlight for some of these services. Share is a Bentley portal which allows users to create folder, upload and download files, as well as sharing and collaborating with each other. ProjectWise Web Connections allows users to create a web connection to a ProjectWise work area. Deliverable Management, it allows users to send and receive transmittals as well as submittals packages. There are other services as well, such as Project Insights, as well as Issue Resolution, which you can find out more information about these services from the Bentley.com. If we have the intention of utilizing other ProjectWise 365 services, for instance, we may want to send and receive transmittal packages directly in ProjectWise Explorer for the BSI 300 project, then simply the work area that we upgraded earlier in ProjectWise needs to be stepped up and to make it a connected project. First, we need to open the BSI 300 work area properties window by right mouse clicking it and then properties. On the ProjectWise project tab, we can click on the associate button. From the my projects drop down, we can select favorites. Scroll down, we are able to find the BSI 300 Cloud project that we created earlier. Select it and then click on Associate. Once we hit Apply, this is now become the connected project. And we will be able to send and receive transmittal packages directly in ProjectWise once we have logged into the Deliverables Management Portal. During this lesson, we have learned creating and upgrading a folder to a project-wise work area. We have also learned creating a Bentley Cloud project with ProjectWise 365 services enabled. We have also learned how to create a web connection to the project-wise work area. We also learned what is a connected project. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.